Hi guys, in this video we will cover secondary defences and go through an exam style question. So, um, secondary defences, essentially combat pathogens which have entered the body and have breached your primary defences. But before we jump into them, let's just take a look at a couple of terms. So firstly, the term antigen. Now antigens uh, are any kind of marker on any kind of cell. Uh, pathogens all have specific um, antigens. Um, even our own cells have antigens, but um, antigens actually convey quite a lot of information and our bodies are capable of recognising our own antigens um, as self antigens and therefore they do not attack them. Um, now if we're to take this lovely bacterium here, um, this uh, intrinsic protein on its outer membrane could be an antigen, probably is an antigen. Um, and if it even has a flagella, um, the flagella itself, or well, flagellum, um, can be an antigen or even just some of the proteins within it can also act as antigens. Now, um, on the side of the host, we have opsonins. Now, opsonins are proteins which essentially tag um, or bind to antigens to tag certain cells for phagocytosis. Um, now, some antibodies are opsonins. So opsonins are generally uh, defined as types of antibodies that bind to the surface of a pathogen and enhance the ability of phagocytic cells to identify and engulf that uh, pathogen. Um, yeah. Uh, so that probably has given you a clue that we're going to talk about phagocytosis. Um, and indeed we are. This is pretty much your secondary defence. And phagocytosis is down to two cells. So um, we have neutrophils and we have macrophages. We'll start with neutrophils first. Um, neutrophils are probably the most common phagocytes, but they're quite short-lived. Um, however, upon infection, they can be made in um, great amounts um, and released in large amounts. And these are actually made in the bone marrow. Um, so they travel in the blood and as you saw in the last video in the process of inflammation, they can squeeze out of capillaries um, into the tissue fluid um, into infected areas. Um, now, they, the way that they actually engulf pathogens is um, through the use of lysosomes. So firstly, neutrophil here, which has a multi-lobed nucleus, which is actually how you um, can identify them. It, uh, sees this pathogen it starts to surround it and eventually these bits of the neutrophil fuse and you get a uh, intracellular vesicle containing the pathogen hey guys to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific a-level biology videos just click the button join me today and together let's make a-level biology a walk in the park